So today we're gonna to be talking about compression of time. Not sure what that is or if this interests you, stick around and let's get into it. Hi and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. My name is Veronica and if this is your first time here, welcome. I teach people about easy, practical spirituality, intentional living, and all of the metaphysical stuff and esoteric stuff that you could want. So if this interests you, hit the subscribe button below. I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. So the other night I was in a coaching session and I was talking about compressing time. And then I realized that I don't think I've ever spoken about this in a video before, so I wanted to pop on here and let you guys know. So I cannot for the life of me remember where I got this information, whether it was through a book or a video, or if Spomi told me, my main guide in case you don't know, I can't remember. So either way, this is something that I've been doing for years and um, it's kind of similar to requesting the most benevolent outcome. And if you aren't sure what that is, I have done a video on that and I will link to that below. So this comes in handy when you're running late or you're short on time, like when you have 15 minutes to drive still, but you only have 10 minutes until you have to start work. Um, I used this the other night when I was filming a video, but I still had a ways to go. And then I realized that I had to start this coaching session in like, I don't remember, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And I used it then. So what you do is you just ask the powers that be to give you a compression of time. So for example, if you're running late for work and you would say, I request a compression of time from now until I start work, that I wouldn't be late. And then you just put it out of your mind and forget about it. The other night when I used it, I said, I request a compression of time from now until I start this coaching meeting so that I can finish everything I'm doing with this video and have time to make a cup of coffee before it starts. And guess what? I did. It all worked out. So the key is to put it out of your mind and not stress about it. Because if you're sitting there going, oh, I'm going to be late. I know I'm still going to be late. And you keep looking at the clock. You're kind of going to negate all of the benefits of it. So you really just need to request it and trust that it's in motion and then just put it out of your mind. That's not guaranteed that you're not still going to be late for work on some level. But um, the amount of time that you'll be late for work will definitely be minimized. And don't be surprised if you're not late for work at all. All right, I hope this helps. I'll talk to you soon.